Hey guys! <laughs> so I just got back from a Christmas Disney World trip with my bae and all friends and we had the bestest time ever but I did catch a bit of a cold governor. So if I sound like I just choked on Mickey Mouse's anus hole, that's cause I did. Just kidding, Mickey straight. <laughs> Anyways, um... Y'all, I think this video is gonna be filled with tea, which I need because I am sick right now. I saw that Breland, formerly known as Glitter Forever 17, made a video about me. A bitch! I am shocked! I'm just kidding, I'm not shocked. Breland actually uh, DM'd me like a couple weeks ago and warned me saying that she was gonna make a video about what happened between us. And I told her that it was fine because I actually made a video about her <laughs> like a year-ish ago or two years ago, um, but I did not go into detail. She did tell me that she was going to go into detail about what happened between us. So I am nervous to see this video because hey, Stop it, stop pumping her. So I'm kind of nervous to see this video. Um, she did post it yesterday, but I was like, I'm not gonna watch this until I have a camera in front of me because I never get videos made about me. And if I'm gonna have a YouTube drama moment, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna film it, okay? So I have not seen this video. I'm going to react to the whole thing, tell you guys my thoughts throughout it. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be a fully legit video because Breland does seem like she has changed. We love that for her. But um, in case if y'all don't know, basically me and Breland, um, we're friends in 2016. We were doing tons of um, collab videos together. I was a smaller um, YouTuber and she kind of took me under her wing. But then things happened. She came at me. It was a big blow up. But no matter what, I'm so nervous to see this video. Like, oh! No one ever talks about me on the YouTube, so I'm like a kind of queefing. I have eaten a lot of soup today, and for some reason it made me real gassy. My hole has been singing. But yeah, I'm just real nervous to see this. <sighs> I think it's posted on her new channel, which is just called Breland. So far, I have actually like really enjoyed all the videos on her new channel. I'm gonna watch this video right now. It's called Why Timmy Tomato and I Are No Longer Friends. First of all, girl, why did you choose that picture? I made it go in the thumbnail. I look like a caveman. I'm like, Oh my god, my cheekbones are popping, guys. Wow. This video is 15 minutes and 44 seconds. I'm just gonna play it. Okay, I'm nervous. Oh, let's go. Hi, it's Freeland here. So if you hear a little squirrel munching in the background, that's Jeffrey. And if you see a band-aid on my finger, it's because Jeffrey decided to snap at me, bite my finger, and he broke it. He's an amazing animal. I Girl, your dog this. broke your damn finger. Can I just say that her hair looks gorgeous and her makeup is on point and I feel like Breland, your whole look has just like developed a lot in the past couple years and you're just looking stunning. Anyways, I'm being too nice. This is a drama video. <laughs> okay. I wanted to discuss the reason why me and my friend slash former friend Timmy Tomato oh. are no longer friends. I have contacted him and asked his permission before I film this video. It's a long, long story. This was back circa 2016, three years ago. Me and Timmy had done so many fun videos together and I would always give him advice at the time, of course, I was like really cocky and arrogant at times because I was like, look what I did. You do what I do and you're gonna have the same results, which it actually worked for him. Let me just say, that is 100% accurate. It did work 100%, like all of her tips were so helpful. I was such a clueless little gay ass bitch and she honestly like helped me and my channel a lot. Uh, and it was just nice to have someone that was like looking out for me because she actually was. She was actually a great friend to me, at least like until the end, you know, that when, when things got messy. But um, she was actually so, so, so helpful. So thank you, Breland. I will always be grateful for that. But of course, in the beginning, I said things very, very nicely and I was like, look, you may want to do this and you may want to do that. I had had so much success I figured like what I said was gold, you know, you need to listen to me because I am going to help you succeed. I was just like so big headed and arrogant and I slowly became this. I was never this. I had very humble. Let me opinions. just say. <clears throat> Sorry, I paused it the wrong way. Let me just say um, that I feel like a lot of um, YouTubers just naturally get big-headed and they don't even realize it. Like, even me, when I was at my height, okay, y'all, let's be real. My channel was popping for, like, six months in 2016. It was, like, doing super well. And during that time, I felt like I hadn't changed at all. And I don't think that I changed that much, but at the end of the day, when you have that 
much attention on you all at once like your head it doesn't get big but like you just start to become like wow i am that bitch like like that's how you feel like you're that bitch you know so i think like naturally it happens to a lot of people and it's hard to stay completely level-headed when it all comes to you so easily and so fast you know i was never this i had very humble beginnings i never had anyone help me to get to where i was so for that i also felt a lot more powerful like Look what I did on my own, and if you listen to me, you can do it too. This was like around the time when YouTube was just starting to enforcing the whole not cussing in your videos type thing. If you cussed, you could possibly be demonetized, but it wasn't as strict as it is now. I noticed Timmy decided to cave into YouTube's rules, which I did not agree with. I was barely. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, so yes, YouTube like put out tons of um, new rules like they always do. They always just put out tons of random rules, but I took this super seriously and I was like, okay, I have to stop cursing. Like this is my career, so if I want to keep it, I got to stop cursing. So I made a video which was so dumb saying I'm going to stop cursing. If I could go back, I would have um, taken it back because it was just too extreme. I could have just quietly just cursed a bit less. And now I'm just like, I don't say the F word on my channel, but I do curse and say anus hole and JJ hole. I feel like I found like a good balance but at this point I was like very like no more cursing so it was kind of like a live and learn situation you know anyways Brie Lynn did not agree with this like she just said so let's continue but I forgot that this is kind of what started it oh my god I did not agree with I was really passionate about helping him okay I I only came from a good place but the way that I said it was really rude the thing is that y'all may not know about Timmy is Timmy's a very sensitive person He's very sweet, he's very kind-hearted, and he gets his feelings hurt really, really easily. I don't know if I even... Well! <laughs> I think back then, maybe, I was a, um, a bit more sensitive. Now, I feel like I have found a better balance of, like, not taking things to heart. Um, but yes, back then, I was more sensitive. I agree with that. I don't know if I even have these texts anymore. I may look to see if I have these texts. Hang on. You're in luck. I found the text messages. These are rough. Like, I'm nervous for Breland to read these. Like, it isn't rough on my part. It was rough on her part. <laughs> Um, like I personally, I don't, I don't even think that I talked about these text messages in my video. I don't think I did because, wait, did I? I don't think I did, right? Because I was like, I don't want to ruin her. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to cancel her because I'm not here for that at all. Um, so the fact that she's going to read these text messages, oh, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I guess the first step to becoming a better person is admitting your mistakes and admitting your wrongs. This was the original reason why me and Timmy didn't talk for a while. I think we stopped talking in like November of 2016 and we didn't talk again until February 2017 because I finally convinced him to unblock me. This is the oh. first time that Oh my God. I, I feel bad now because I can see that um, she's like a different person, but you'll see why I, I blocked her. I think that she'll show it. Set. This is what I said. Timmy, you really need to rethink this whole no, no cursing thing. Your channel is really going down the drain. If you don't backtrack, it may be too late at some point. Just some advice from a friend who cares. And then I was Okay, gone. like, listen, and it could have been worse, but like going down the drain is a very harsh statement. So I did take offense to that. I was like, what? Because listen, at that time, like all of our um, channels were like going down literally. And so I was like very like on the edge about that. And then to hear her say that, well, to, to see her say that via text, I was very like, oh my God, ouch. I don't know what I said back to her. Let's see if she'll uh, read it because I don't have the text anymore. And then I went on. The majority of your viewers subscribe for the raunchy comedy and videos. I understand your point. You want to be a good influence. I don't know where his comments are. He had responded back to me and told me something like, wow, that's really rude the way you said that. I just want to be a good influencer, etc." And then- I said I something like that. I don't remember, but it was something along the lines of that for sure. And then I got triggered, I guess, and I wrote a long message about how I don't like to beat around the bush. I said, sorry if you're too sensitive to handle corrective criticism. I was just really mean. Timmy, if you're watching this, 
I am so sorry. I don't even know who that person is. It's okay, don't worry. Oh wait. Oh my gosh, I thought it was like an ad or something. Now, for the number one reason, Timmy and I are no longer friends. Let's see what the reason was. I think I know what the reason was. But let's see. I really didn't want to share this. Me and this girl, I'm not even going to mention her name. We were best friends. She was also a YouTuber. She's no longer a YouTuber. We would share everything with each other, and that was my first mistake. I thought I could trust her. You know how when you get with your friends and you talk shit about people? She was actually the one who initiated this. She did lie and say that I, it was all me. We would shit talk some of the YouTubers that we collabed with. I remember the first time she initiated this. I think she had said, well, I don't really like such and such, and I asked her why, and let's just say we would talk crap about him. Let me just pause and say, right now she's talking about her uh, drama with another girl. I'm just gonna stay out of that and not mention that because I don't wanna be a part of that. I've never been that, never felt that. Okay, so um, I'm just going to watch this peacefully until it's about me again. It's all about me. <laughs> Let's just say we would talk crap about him and about his videos about me? and like make fun of him. Oh, I guess it's about me. Like that. I feel horrible about it because I am not a bully. That's just not who I am, especially now. I've grown so much. I've been humbled beyond words. <laughs> This was three years ago. I'm no longer the same person. And By the way, sorry if I'm like dripping. I'm not crying or anything. I just have like a runny nose. So <laughs> sorry about my booger juice. Okay, I'm just gonna. Uh, uh. And I'm sharing this with you in hopes that maybe you could learn something from it because it was a hard, hard lesson in life. And I've always oh. heard the saying loose lips sink ships. Oh, honey. I learned that Girl, the hard way. Girl, that thing could mean more than one thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> I learned that the hard way. I just had to open my big, fat, stupid mouth and- <laughs> Well, man, she's dragging her down, breathe in. As if they're not people. And make fun of people as if they're not people. And say really mean things about them. And this is something that I, will never forget and one of my biggest regrets in life like a life regret when me and this girl would get together we would have like we would like Ugh. you know how on mean girls when they ask the whole entire uh auditorium <laughs> raise your hand if you've ever said anything about another girl or another person yes, and like everybody that. raises their hand I would just hope that you understand that I'm sure you've also talked about people. You've also maybe even made fun of people. Listen, I think that everyone in this world has talked crap about people. Like, every single person. But I think that if we learn from it and we grow from it, we can become better people, you know? So I think that's what Breland is doing right now. I think it's great to kind of raise awareness to yourself and to kind of look inside yourself and think like, have I been talking shit about people? If I have, try not to do it. Unless if that person's like a horrible person, then I feel like you can talk crap about them. Only if they're like evil, like, you know, like, like an actual trash can, like a homophobic person or something like that. But if it's just like another person, just don't talk crap about people. I think that's a very good message, Breland. You've also maybe even made fun of people behind their back or who knows, maybe even to their face, which I hope not, but not just making fun of them, but you know, saying bullying things about them. At the time, I was actually going through a lot. Let's just say it was right before me and David broke up, my previous fiance. Bullies or haters, whenever they're going through something hard, it makes them feel better to talk down at others. <sighs> I guess this is what I was doing. I feel so horrible about it because now as an actual adult, I consider myself an adult now. I just feel like that person three years ago was like a child. Let's get to the point. She outed me to every single YouTuber that I talked about. Okay, I blame myself 100%. I remember this, y'all. It was like, Breland got exposed to like every girl that we collabed with ever. And it was... It was bad. And of course, I was pissed at her too because a lot of it was about me. And now looking back, I'm like, ooh, oh my god, it's, ooh, a lot.
but I also feel like I was baited. What happened was the reason she revealed all of these text messages to everyone, she was angry at me because every time she would text me or try to call me, I didn't answer because I was busy. So she got salty and decided to out me to every single person I ever talked about. And then turned it around and said, I was the one who started it. I was the one who, who initiated everything. And no one believed me because they were so mad at me for talking about them. Once again, I'm not in their like, separate drama, so I have no narrative on this part, okay? I wasn't the only one who talked about them. She even outed herself. At the end of the day, I said what I said, and I tried to do damage control afterwards. I was so mortified, like, oh my gosh. How could a friend do this? But then at the same time, I was thinking, well, Breland, you dumbass. <laughs> why would you say these things? These people did nothing to you, and you treated them like they were not people and you called them names and it was like bullying and hater behavior which is something i've always spoken against all i wanted was friends and i finally got them and i treated them like that there's no one else to blame but myself that is why timmy and i didn't speak which i totally get it i begged him to just please talk to me because he never gave me an explanation as to why he stopped talking to me so i just after I heard from the girl, that's when I knew and I was like begging him to respond or just give me an explanation. Okay, so this is why I stopped talking to her. So what happened was, um, after the day where she like dragged me to the pits of hell, like there was other texts too, but like I just really don't feel like they need to be out there at all. Um, I was dragged and then um, the next day she apologized to me and was like, um, can we be friends again? And you know, Breland's a changed person now. I did not think that was the way to go about the situation because, you know, asking someone to be your friend right after dragging them to Satan's anus, to me, it did seem like damage control um, and not like she actually wanted to be friends with me. Does that make sense? Once again, I think that she has changed now, but this is just how I felt back then. I'm being 100% honest. So I was thinking to myself like, okay, wow. So I messaged her back and I was like, I forgive you, but we're not gonna be friends, girl. I said something like that. And then she got a little bit pissy again, and then I think I blocked her. So that's why I felt like it was like disingenuous. But that was back then, okay? So other things have happened after that that made me actually forgive her completely. Let's continue. This is such a good video. Ooh. I should have known, like, duh, you talk crap about him. Of course he's gonna be mad. But Timmy is so sweet. Even after all of that, he still spoke to me again. And here are some of the text messages. I told him, like, I'm so glad I can talk to you again. It's been so long since we last texted. I told him I was sorry for all the things I said. You know, I have to fart. I have to get out now. Okay, sorry. Let's continue. He said the sh talking is and gossiping that's literally middle school stuff. You're still blaming the girl, but at the end of the day, you chose to say what you said, and no one can take responsibility for that besides you. Y'all, I am a bad bitch. I said that? I think I said that, but I don't. It isn't fresh on my brain. Wow. Damn. Thank you, Timmy. That is absolutely true. And I do. I feel like I'm such a different person now. I'm having to take on the responsibility for something that happened three years ago for another person. Like, I, that's how different I am now. Like, I feel so much more different. I learned to be a more kind person, to never talk about people behind their backs, to give everyone a chance. This is something that I chose to work on myself after this happened. And it really helped me to become a better person now. He said, I hope you're really trying to change because going through life burning bridges and talking negative sh isn't healthy for anyone. I forgive you. Wow. Okay, but that's still a savage forgiveness. Damn. <laughs> he shouldn't have. And this took a lot. Well, I did. Because I'm that bitch. <laughs> and this took a lot. 
for him to forgive me after the crazy junk that I said, and I regret it more than anything now. I was telling him about how I'd never forgive the girl for revealing all of that personal and our private conversations, that I was done talking to her. I'm just kind of summing it up. I told Timmy I really cared about our friendship. And I said, I appreciate your forgiveness and I'm so happy we could clear the air. But obviously, you know, the damage had been done. Timmy was not having it. He said, just so there's no misunderstandings, I don't consider us friends anymore. And I don't think we'll ever be friends again. But I did forgive you and I'm going to try to let it go. Thanks for messaging me. And I oh told my god, I'm crazy! Like, I get why I said that. Like, it was totally right. But, oh my god, I sound so deep. I'm not used to sounding so deep. God. And I told him, because of everything that happened, I was accepting of his choice to end our friendship. And I said, okay, that's totally understandable. Thank you for your forgiveness, and I wish you and your boyfriend all the best. We did argue back and forth, because I really wanted to be his friend, and he refused to be friends with me, which, uh, <laughs> bitch. See, yeah, now, bitch. being myself, I would have thought, I totally understand if you don't want to be friends, and I would have never messaged him again. But I was still pushing it, and he kept saying, look, I don't want to be friends with you. Obviously, he didn't want to be friends with me. He <coughs> couldn't trust me at this point. So, I totally get it. During that time in my life, me and David were on the rocks. I was so depressed because I was with him and he had no idea that I was depressed. I lashed out at everyone around me and I just feel so regretful of this. He said, okay, I don't know what I did to you. I'm honestly shocked. I always wondered why you got hate because I genuinely thought you were nice. Maybe they always saw this part of you. Deep down, you're a bully. I really, really hope you and David have a good life, and I hope you can find some kind of happiness with yourself because people that treat others this way are not fully happy. And you know what? You are. Let me just say that this text, I'm pretty sure, was from the day of the dragging, I think. I think they're kind of out of order. So I wasn't saying this months later. I said this like when I was being dragged, just so you guys know. That's why I was so harsh, oh my god. Oh, now I feel bad too, everyone's feeling bad today. You know what, you are 100% correct. I'm going to be unfollowing you everywhere, but just know I have nothing against you, this is just to keep hateful comments out of my life. Wait, Bye, Breland. did I say this the day of the, of the dragging? Or this might have been like a couple days after when she was trying to be friends with me. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm kind of confusing myself, anyways. I said it. I did have a reason to say it, but now I feel like, oof, that was really rough. I honestly do not blame you whatsoever. I am just shocked that you even gave me a chance to begin with. I don't blame you for not being friends with me. I, would, I wouldn't want to be friends with this person either. And since that was me who said that three years ago, I still take responsibility for it. Although it's not the same person I am today, I am just a much more happy person. And Timmy, you just didn't deserve that whatsoever, and I apologize once again for that. I was a very unhappy person. I have a completely different life now. Now that I read back on that, I'm like, who is that bitch? <laughs> what a horrible person. And that's when I fell from grace because I lost all my friends, nobody wanted to collab with me, my channel went down. I got what I deserved, I really did. I deserved to have everything taken from me for doing that and for saying that stuff. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. I just hope that y'all can understand that I'm trying to be as real and transparent as I possibly can. And everyone makes horrible mistakes in life and that's how we learn. That's how we learn to be the people we are now is from past mistakes. And mm. this was a lesson that I learned the very, very brutal and hard way. And I am just so sorry. Now, I have no one. I literally have no friends whatsoever. And I would give anything to have friends again. But I totally get it that they don't want to be my friend. I just hope that someday I will have friends. 
and hopefully they don't see this and like judge me for the stupid crap that I've done in my past. I'm doing my best to be honest and open and hopefully that will somehow help me in the future. Let's just say YouTube could use a little bit of realness nowadays because there are so many fake people. Don't make mistakes and if you do, use them as a lesson in life and learn from your mistakes. I wish I could take it all back, but you live, you learn, you move on. Again, to Timmy, I'm so sorry for this. I don't even know who that person is at this point because I've grown and changed so much since then. And I just hope that you are happy and well and you have a happy life and I wish you all the best. So that's all for this video. I love you so, so much. Let me know in the comments what you think and let me know if you have a mistake that you regret and you wish you could take back. I'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you for watching and have you. I'm not saying that anymore. <laughs> have a great day. I love you. Bye. Hopefully y'all don't hate me too much after this. I swear I'm not the same person anymore. Please don't judge me. Okay. Bye. Oh my god. Okay, wow. Wow, my battery's dying. One second. So, that video was so good. Um, first of all, for once and for all, I forgive you, Breland. I don't want to hear you apologize to me one more time because I 100% forgive you. Literally, in my mind, you have a clean slate because I can genuinely see that you are a different person than you were back then. You, you just have a different aura about you, like your whole being feels different. If I sensed any sort of shade or any sort of fake vibe from you, it would be a different story, but I literally see that you are being 100% genuine and I 100% forgive you for once and for all, okay? Everything is literally water under my big ass bussy. Also, I would like to say that even though I said that I would never be friends with you again, I do now consider you a friend. I genuinely love you and I forgive you and that video was so amazing. Thank you so much. It meant so much to me. I was honestly like nervous to see it just to kind of like relive all that, but it ended up being such a positive experience for me. As you guys saw, I was just in, like enjoying myself watching that video. And I'm so glad that I filmed it too because it was like such a monumental moment. Like, I feel reborn. Glitter Forever 17, who? Breland is here, bitch. <laughs> also, Breland has no clue that I'm saying this and it's not any kind of a um, collab or anything like that, but I will put the link to her video in the description below because her um, new videos on her new channel have just been so good and so raw and so like real. Y'all should honestly go and check them out. So thank you so much for that video. It meant the world to me and I loved it so much, honestly. So, <sighs> wow. I feel like a weight has been lifted off of my tail. <laughs> By the way, I don't want to see any hate comments about Breland in the comments below, please. None. I think it's very brave to talk about the the trashy ass shit that you have done in the past. You know what I mean? And the fact is, is that it is in the past. It was years ago. So do not hold that against her. I know that some people are like very protective over their favorite YouTubers, all that stuff, but please don't hold that against her. That was in the past and she's obviously a changed person. This is also why I don't uh, believe in like canceling people because people can change. They can. Well, okay, listen, I believe in like canceling like rapists and psychopaths, you know what I mean? But not just people that have messed up in their past. Like there's a huge difference and I think that almost everyone deserves a second chance unless if they've done something so horrible that they can't come back from you know what I mean so leave Breland something super nice in the comments and yeah I'm so happy I love you Breland uh, and that made my day so I love you guys so much I'll see you on next video bye